the last few years, and I don't know the exact number, so I use few as, I don't mean just two, but, but the reputation that they have, even in Africa, especially in the Western world, is that they are a nation in war. One of their requests, the bishop over the movement that we held the crusade for over all the churches and the pastors and the, the pastors and leaders training, one of their requests was, please go back and tell Dream Nations that we're not in war. And we're so glad they sent you Debbie was able to go with me and the rest of the team, Medicine, Malawi. And so it was Debbie and I and the Malawians, because many of you know that we partnered there with a movement and they went with us across the border. And uh, they said, tell them we're not at war and we want them to come. We want them to come with you. We need their help. Some of you, as I speak that, you pray about that, that's going to leap in your soul and you're going to realize, oh, when I got the closest to God and he was putting Mozambique on my heart, that really was him and not me. Right. Come on now. Well, it's getting a little quiet. So Come on. Nervous. <laughs> but it was amazing, the deep hunger. As I was preaching, I don't even... I don't even remember exactly all the details. I just remember the Lord telling me to tell them before I got up because I had something else planned. He said, tell them that this is a moment for Mozambique. And so I got up and I began to declare, this is a moment for Mozambique. And then the Lord began to go from there and share and speak. And then I began to declare, war no more. War no more. This is a moment for Mozambique, and I'm just preaching. The Spirit of the Lord comes on me so heavy. More outside in the rain than inside the building. They're hungry for God. They're standing in the rain, wanting the Word of God, wanting the presence of God. And as I'm preaching, I understand that there's a whole other level happening. There's a young minister that comes, and he stands right in front of me, and I'm preaching. And those of you that have been around me very long know that I see everything when I preach. If you get up, you go to the bathroom, I know it. <laughs> I mean, I just see everything. It's just, I don't know why. But he's standing in front of me, and that doesn't even bother me. I was sharing this with Laura, and she said, I know that I had to be God. <laughs> he's just standing there. It's about my height, so it's about eye to eye, and I'm just preaching away, looking at it. Somewhere in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, what in the world is he doing? But then suddenly he ducks his head and buries it into my chest, and he clasps hold of me, and it begins to break. And then suddenly, as I'm still preaching, I feel others grabbing on to my arms and to my back. I didn't know it till later, but the bishop of the movement in Malawi got his, his vice president and they also got Debbie and they said, he said, I saw a, a smoke around you, coming out of you and around you. And if you read and study the scripture enough, you understand that smoke represents the cloud or the glory or the presence of God. As the children of Israel, when Moses was on uh, the mountain receiving the Ten Commandments, they saw it as a great smoke. And he says, so I grabbed my vice president. We told Debbie, come with us. We grabbed hold of you. And then it was like it dawned on me that all of our ministers that came as a part of the team from Malawi, I need to get all of them to grab hold of you. But then as I'm grabbing hold of you, this is him telling me later. So I'm feeling people grabbing hold of me and I'm still just preaching away. And he said, it dawns on me that we're not in Malawi. We're in Mozambique. And there's a lot of Mozambique and pastors who need to be grabbing hold of you. 
And he says, as it dawns on me and I'm thinking, I need to go yeah. get them. Yeah. You said out of your mouth, I said, I just sense that the Holy Spirit wants me to tell every pastor, every minister, get out of your seat. And not because of me, anything about me, not because of pride. But I sense the Lord saying for you to come and just grab hold of me. He's doing something right now. The bishop told me that later. He said, I couldn't even make a move with what I was thinking because you said it. They grabbed a hold of me and as soon as they did, the Holy Spirit began to intercede through me in such a way uh, as Romans 8, 26 describes, we know not how to pray. The Spirit prays through us with groanings or with noises that words cannot match. And God moves and He's touching those ministers and that cloud is, is, is filling th that room and filling those ministers and then I feel led to release them and I said, go pray for the people and most of you know that one of my favorite things to do in life is to pray for people 